The Hamoda Theater in Humboldt was struggling financially, but thanks to the support of local co loyal customers and a neighboring small town theater, the fear that this theater could close is now gone. Only on KCCI, Ophelia Jacobson shows us how the community is pitching in to help keep those movies rolling. In the heart of Humboldt stands a single screen movie theater. The name Hamoda is from Humboldt and Dakota City. Take one step inside here and you'll immediately be overwhelmed by the smell of buttery popcorn. It's fresh every day. Walk past the concession stand. So it's still one of the old single screen theaters that's been that your mom and dad grew up with. And you'll find seats for 256 people. Upstairs, this is where the projector is. You'll see a lot of things happening behind the scenes. Everyone knows it takes a lot of money to make movie magic. A new bulb for this is $900. But right now, Chad Thiesfeld says the theater is struggling financially. He says a lack of good content to show, plus the writer's strike, is putting them in a pinch. At one point, the theater had less than $10,000 in the bank. And I just finally had to say something to the public that it's a real possibility we might have to close. The theater posted on Facebook asking the community for help. The response? I think it's been over, to put a figure out there, uh, about $5,000 almost that we've raised since we've said something. But it's not just money that's poured in. People are also donating essential goods the theater needs to stay open. Uh, people can donate uh, their favorite candy if they know they're coming to the theater and they want to make sure that they have it. Uh, the seasoning salt here that we use on every batch of popcorn that we make uh, is one thing that we've been getting a lot of from donations. But one person is choosing to donate something different. Jeff Pingle is offering up his expertise on how to save money and stay afloat. I saw they had a post that um, if we don't come up with some funds, we'll have to close our doors. I, I, nobody wants to see that. Pingle is the president of the board for Webster Theater. In November, his theater sustained smoke and water damage from a fire next door. We're still in demolition mode and it's uh, far more extensive than anticipated. And nearly a decade before that, the theater shut down but was able to reopen. Pingle says other single screen theaters have helped him out in the past, so he wanted to return the favor. It is really significant to have relationships with the other singles to be able to stay open. Thiesfeld calls the gesture amazing. It just kind of hit me that he's got his own issues, he's got his own things to take care of and he's still worried about us, us here. He says he's learned a lot from Pingle, lessons that he's already been able to put in place. He's brought us some different ideas on places that he's saved money in the past. He says he's very frugal and we could learn a lot from him. Thiesfeld says with all of the help they've received, they're in a better place now and have their eyes set on an important milestone. We're only a couple years shy of being a hundred year old theater, so we want to do that too. Because if there's one lesson that stuck with Thiesfeld the most. Don't, don't give up on us and we won't give up on you. It's that the show must go on. In Humboldt, Ophelia Jacobson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Boy, these theaters are the heart of the city. Mm -hmm. The Hamoda Theater is still asking for help. If you'd like to make a donation, we'll have a link on our website, kcci.com.